it does it say recording at the top of your screen uh yes <laughs> Fab, great brilliant well hi andre thank you so much for uh doing this student spotlight for us um today so my first question to you is tell me a little bit about yourself so where you're from what year you're in uh, what you study and drop in a fun fact as well <laughs> okay well first of all hi natalie it's very nice to meet you and thank you for the opportunity uh i'm andre um i'm coming from romania and i'm studying uh, business and hospitality management here at uh, arul in my first year um what can I say to start with? First of all, for me, is amazing. I mean, uh, I had some expectations, but everything was beyond my expectations. The help, uh, how everybody talks to you, um, try to teach you, and they, they, they are just there for you. All the teachers, the tutors, just they are making sure that you are on the right path. And yeah, for me, I wanted to start university for a long time. Um, I'm working in the hospitality industry over 20 years now, uh, not in my home country, I was working abroad on river cruise ships on the island of Bermuda for some time, and um, obviously now I want to go further in my career, <laughs> of course. Uh, the final goal uh, being to actually run a hotel as a, a hotel manager, general manager, and so far I think uh, um, I'm on the right path and I enjoy it very much <laughs> absolutely that's that you know that's a really cool aspiration it sounds like you have a lot of wisdom underneath your your belt um, <laughs> my next my next question for you is obviously you know you're you are our student in the spotlight and you know what do you what was it that before you came to university what made you want to come and do a degree at ARU London well I guess I always wanted more from myself like I, I'm the type of uh, the, the personality that I aspire always to to do more. And um, well, thinking about the fact well, what my goal is actually, I I mean the university is the is the is the perfect place that can help me get there. And also the the things I learned so far in a couple of weeks, some of them I didn't learn in 34 years to be honest. <laughs> um, things that are helping me in my professional life at work and in the personal life. And definitely it was the, it was the best de decision to, to start a uh, university here at, uh, at Aru. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, being, you know, the typical undergraduate is, you know, 18 to 21 years of age. And there's such a broad <laughs> range of different students at, at Ang Anglia Ruskin. And it's so cool to see such a, you know, a, awesome group of people and where everyone's backgrounds are and why they've come to university so it sounds like you know you're doing it for such a great reason and, and you know really wants to make the most out of your, of your degree um, so my next question is who has inspired you to kind of become the person you are today to to be pursuing kind of what you are what what's inspired you or who's inspired you uh, well, in the past, I guess my mother, um, she was very smart. She was talking three different languages. And obviously, she she finished the university in Romania in my home country. Uh, I think that was the, the thing that started me and had, I had in the back of my mind. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I guess, um, yeah, I always wanted more from, from myself, you know. And also, I have two kids. And they inspire me also every day, you know, I also when they will grow up, they are very small now. Uh, there's things that I can show them and um, I don't know, make, make, make them uh, one more also in, in life from, uh, from themselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's a, such a lovely reason. And, you know, having kids is a huge thing. And what you, you being inspired yourself, you know, wanting to pass that on to your kids and to inspire them to be to be you know great people when when they grow up um, yes <laughs> you know you, you've you've said you've done a lot of things uh you you, you know you've traveled and and you've, you've worked uh, in in the hospitality sector and you're doing business and hospitality what would you say up until now is probably you know your biggest achievement oh that one that that is an easy one <laughs> <laughs> well, uh working on the island uh, of bermuda um, I work for a, for a very known uh, hospitality resort, uh, Rosewood Bermuda. It took me like five years to get a job there. 
proves that it's, it's very hard. You, you need to be very good in what you are doing uh, just to get an interview there. And yes, I was working in a five stars uh, resort. I started as a waiter, then they promoted me. And it, it was amazing. Like the, the level of, um, of everything that they were doing there was just out of this world. And it taught me also lots of things. And it taught, uh, taught me how to do my job uh, better. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, I enjoy my job. I like my job. So for me, it's, uh, it's easy. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And, you know, that's not every day do you get to say that you worked in on a beautiful island doing what you were oh, yeah. doing. So that's, that's an <laughs> awesome, an awesome achievement. And, you, know, you have yeah. a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of experiences underneath your belt. Um, what would be your one piece of advice to... Um, ARU London students you know in the middle of your degree knowing what you know what would be your piece of advice to students um, during this time? Well I guess um, in general be true to yourself if you do this university clearly don't do it for somebody else do it for you because you are the person who's going to benefit from that and yeah, in regards to everything that's going on, yeah, just stay strong. <laughs> We're gonna go over it. <laughs> yeah, and that's such a lovely piece of advice because, you know, going to university, there's so much, you know, there's a cost on that. You know, you have to give yeah. up your time, you have to give up, there's a lot of money, there's, you know, that you put towards that. And that's something that you have to be sure of wanting to do. You know, it's not, it's not cheap to do that. And but the, the things that you learn from going to university, as it sounds like you have, and I know that other students have, is, and myself even going to university, <laughs> I've learned so much, you know, being, being a student and, and, and the discipline of having to, to push yourself and stay motivated. And I think that's a, that's a huge thing at this time, you know, right now. I'm going to move away slightly from the <laughs> academic side of things now. So tell me a little bit about what your passions are. So what do you do in your free time? Um, what do you like to do? Uh, well, I like adventure. <laughs> I like to, I, I don't know, to just get in my car and visit new places. Maybe, mm, let's see. The thing is, uh, lately I didn't have a lot of free time. <laughs> 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 so I'm trying to think back. Um, yes, well, I like vacations. I like to go back in my home country, especially in the winter. My home city is amazing. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Otherwise than that, I don't know. I like to spend time talking to my kids on uh, on the internet, see them every day. Uh, that, that's that's number one, I guess. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So talking to them is what keeps me going every day. <laughs> oh, that's so lovely to hear. And and where's your home country? What's your home country? Uh, in Romania. And your home city is in Brasov. It's uh, exactly in the middle of Romania. Oh, nice. I've never been to Romania, um, but it sounds like a lot of a lot of students from ARU London, you know, are from Romania. And it sounds like such a beautiful place. So I'll, I'll definitely put that on my list of, of places to go to. <laughs> you should definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you are very similar to me in that you like going on holidays and you like traveling and, and exploring and, you know, the, the sense of adventure you get from doing that. <laughs> what, what is your uh, favorite place you've been to? Mm, favorite place? Well, besides Bermuda, I was working also on um, a river cruise ship between Switzerland and Holland. But my favorite place was Germany, I guess. Um, they have um, a town there. It's called Bergkastel Kuss. Uh, it's a very old town uh, divided by a small river. It's like a fairy tale with old houses and you see the wine yards and all the ruins of uh, an old castle there, history, uh, because we were on the, on the cruise ship in the, in the morning, every morning we used to see the swans on the, on the river. It was just like so relaxing, or just so out of this world. I, I will go back there anytime. <laughs> That'll be the place you want to retire to. Is is that place in Germany? Probably, yeah. yeah. Well, they made very good uh, white wines as well. So. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Yeah, it's a good place. I have um, I have some family that live in Germany, and it is um, a lovely place. I absolutely adore the country. So I can understand why that's your favorite place to go to. It's one that's probably up on my list as well. Um. So my last question to you is obviously, you know, this time of year, 
things look very different to maybe how we thought they were going to. Um, but Christmas is around the corner. How will you be celebrating Christmas if you do celebrate Christmas? Or how are you spending the holiday season? Uh, well, in general, in, the, in our industry, in hospitality and restaurants, basically it's at work. Uh, but actually it's amazing because uh, you have very nice decorations. Actually, earlier I looked on... Um, on our website where I work right now and they started decorating everything. Christmas trees are ready. It's like the mood is there already. I cannot wait to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> like, otherwise than that, yeah, probably with some family and friends, gifts, just a nice time. And yeah, just maybe remember how, how the year was and be thankful for everything. But yeah. basically, just maybe just quality time with the with the loved ones, I guess. Yeah, and I think that's a great way to spend, you know, the holiday season is with people that you love. Um, and like you say, being thankful, you know, it's so easy for us to get lost in this mindset that that lockdown and this year has kind of been a write off. But there are a lot of good things that have come from from this year as well. You know, for me personally, I've started a new job and I've got other things in my life going on. And it sounds like you've been kept busy in many different ways as well. So, you know, there's a lot that we can be we can be thankful for, um, which which is, is amazing. So Andre, I have loved chatting to you and you said, you know, all your questions, all your answers to my questions have been 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 great. Um, and you know, this is an opportunity for us to get to know who you are. So I thank you so much for taking part. And for any other students that are watching this, if you would like to take part in an interview um, with me in our next student spotlight, please do um, go to our website, check out this interview, check out other interviews, um, and, or drop me an email. Uh, my email is n.hobkirk at angliastudent.com. And you can just drop me an email and I will book you in for an interview. So thank you so much, Andre. Well, thank you, Natalie. It, it was a pleasure talking to you and share some of my, uh, my thoughts. And I hope to see you again, maybe in a couple of years <laughs> after I finish, I, I, after I will be a graduate. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Andre. Thank you.